hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful dress please if you're new here do not forget to like subscribe and share so guys this is a crepe fabric and i have it on fold and i'm going to my clothes is going to be as deep as six inches if you want it lower than that that's okay but the lower it is the more your boss shows but before we are going to take that six inches i'm going to take out one inch from the top of my the starting of my clothes and as you can see me do this clothes is into two so we have the top and the skirt piece which we are going to join together later so from that line now i'm going to place my six inches mark and i'm going to be taking my bust measurement which is 10 and a half inch and we are going to be taking our waist measurement and that is where i want the joining to be and that waist measurement is 18 inches and i'm going to be leaving extra two inches at the down part of the material for joining i wanted to leave one but then i decided to leave two so just repeat your markings on the other side and then really line across from it taking our horizontal measurements i'm going to be taking the mark where my six inches stop so it's like under my armpit directly under my armpit so you're just going to pass your tape around your arm under your armpit and take the measurements and then i'm going to be taking my bust measurements and adding one inch and also i'm going to be taking my waist measurements and i'm going to be adding one inch to it after adding the one inch i'm going to replace my waist measurements at the end part of my fabric next thing we're going to do is to join our markings and then we're going to cut that out and so our front top piece is ready to so on i'm just going to um, notch my one inch line and also notch my two inches mark line where um, i'm going to stop sewing so next thing as you can notice the clothes has an opening at the front so you're going to come up by one and a half inch like you see me do and then you are going to go in by maybe one inch or one and a half inch depending on what you like you can go two inches but i want mine to be one and a half inch and then you're just going to smoothly curve the lines to meet you're going to repeat the markings at the down like you see me do and then you're just going to cut it out opening up the front piece this is what we have as you can see that's the space we've created next thing i'm going to do is to grab the same curb fabric i'm going to be using this as my lining i'm just going to place my front piece on it and trace whatever i have to it so we have another piece of fabric here using the same length but i added one extra inch allowance to it for our zipper allowance so i'm just going to mark out that one inch for our zip as you can see me do and i'm just going to use the scissors to open it up so i'm going to place the folded part of my front fabric close to my zipper allowance line and i'm just going to trace the sides so guys for the down part of our gown remember we left two inches at the down part of our top so we are going to leave the same two inches at the top part of our skirt like you see me do so guys from that two inch mark i'm going to place 18 inches keeping in mind that the top part of our dress stopped at 18 so we're just going to place 18 inches there i'm going to take my hip measurement which is 23 inches and we're going to take our last measurement which is 43 inches plus one inch allowance at the bottom which is 44 inches So guys we're going to roll through our measurements 
and then we are going to take our horizontal measurement we're going to be taking our waist measurement which is 32 inches and extra one inch we are going to be taking our hip measurement there and adding one extra inch which is almost the cloth and then we are going to be taking the bottom part what i do is i take my um hip measurements my normal hip measurements and i go in by one inch and i'm going to connect all our points together so after joining i'm just going to cut through the lines i'm going to create a notch at our two inch mark and guys this is the front part of our skirt so guys for the back of the skirt i'm going to cut the same length and then i'm going to be adding one extra inch to the width and i'm going to be taking out that one inch and that's going to be our zip allowance for the back i'm just going to roll through that line the next thing i'm going to do is to place the front part of my skirt and just cut through the sides and the top to match it just tracing the whole pattern back to the back of the skirt so guys i'm just going to cut open the zipper allowance so guys placing my top front piece on the lining as you can see i'm just going to sew around that front cut mark and then i'm going to sew the top by one inch and i'm going to repeat the same for the back piece up by one inch and then i'm going to sew the down by one inch too so guys after taking in my one inch in between that one inch i'm going to place my hemming gum and i'm just going to run a straight stitch on it and the purpose of doing this is because when we turn it to the front and we iron it's going to be very clean and it's going to be steady it's not going to shake we are going to repeat the same thing for our cut mark so guys turning this to the front as you can see look at the top part of the clothes is already ironed and look at how clean and neat it is so just repeat the same thing for the cut part so guys i'm done with the front and the back i've added the linings to all of them and i've ironed them look at how clean it is look at the front part so the next thing we're going to do is to join our skirt piece with our front so you're just going to put the front in between the main skirt and the lining piece and just sew your two inch mark just the way you see me holding it so guys as you can see i've joined the top part to the skirt the front piece to the skirt up and down and this is the back piece as you can see while i was doing it i put my hemming gum in between so that when i iron is going to stay very flat on it so guys for our sleeve i have 20 and a half inch for the width and 13 inches for the length and don't forget it's on full so all i have to do is just open it and i'm going to take half an inch up and half an inch down and i'm just going to run a straight stitch so guys to hem the down part of your pieces before joining them together what you have to do is just flip them to the wrong side like you see me do and you're just going to stitch on that one inch mark do not forget to add your hemming gum while stitching and then do not forget to also don't stitch on the sides because that's where you'll be flipping them from so just apply it to the remaining pieces so guys after hemming the down part all i'm going to do is to attach my zip as you can see and then at the end of the cloth i'm going to be leaving seven inches downward for my splits because i do not want to sew it to the end so i'm just going to attach my zip and then i'm going to attach it at the sides to the front so guys for my sleeve i'm done running half an inch up and half an inch down straight stitch on it so i'm just going to open it up get an elastic and pass through the top and the bottom of the sleeve because it's a puff sleeve and it's detachable so guys this is how the clothes turned out you can wear it as a sleeve gown you can wear it as a tube you can also wear it as an off shoulder gown for dinners so guys please if this video was really helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you